Hi, my Gucci Spikies, get a rambitious, delicious tourist. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we're doing you versus them. This is going to be your you versus them. Uh, sorry, I'm, losing, I'm lost for words, Taurus. I'm going to be honest with you. I started the video. We were five minutes into it and my technology died. This happens all the time because I work with a lot of uh, potent energies and spirits. Uh, somebody like literally says something turned off the camera. It happens a lot. So uh, I, I don't apologize for it. It's not my fault, but... Um, we're starting with the same reading. I already got your spread out. I want to show you what I'm seeing. I'm a little bit lost for words because uh, this is your you versus I'm reading. Um, love and separation, basically rift or separation. Your March 2023 energy. Whether it's a relationship, situation, ship, bumble date, marriage, whatever your situation is towards. I have to say though, look, um, give me a kiss, baby. Mm. You're going to be okay, but you are dealing with a prize douche flute. I hate this energy. And even the spirits like turn, turn off the camera. It's a douche flute. It's a douche flute, but they're writing a message. A message is being written for you right now. They're crafting the message. They're writing the message. They know they owe you a message. Communication is pending. Oh, Teresa. <laughs> I'm getting all triggered. Um, communication is pending. They know they left you with a lot of unanswered questions and they gave you a lot of work to do uh, mentally, you know, working through the situation, trying to figure out what happened here, what went wrong and all of this kind of stuff. The seven of pentacles, that's how you're looking to me. Uh, a rift or separation could have occurred seven or six months ago in the seventh or sixth month. For some of you a month ago, and since then, this person has known that they owe you a message. You're expecting a message, and they know they owe you a message. Oh, baby. Before we get into this douche flute, let me just say, Taurus, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new, and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taurus, uh, I am going to be going live again. Thank you to everyone who's been coming to the lives. It's been scriptures having you there. We did an amazing uh, Oracle of the Dead reading. Thank you for coming. Uh, I do offer also these readings as private readings. If you're interested, all the information is always in the description box below if you're interested in connecting to spirits on the other side. Uh, I am doing a, another special. We're going to have a very special guest who is a mystical, esoteric, tarot reading, amazingness, boo, uh, who is a friend of mine and connected to the Linden traditions, the you know, Rider Waite traditions, the Golden Dawn traditions. So we will be having a wonderful discussion with her and we will be taking your PayPal questions and celebrating the Ides of March uh, on the 15th on Wednesday. So join us 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, but, but let's get into this douche flute because mommy's triggered. Um, this is somebody who, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between uh, you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, it is somebody who came in looking like golden, like everything about them was perfect, like ticked all the boxes. They were just like, you know, rich, uh, maybe like, paying for stuff like taking care very like grounded you know seemed very family oriented uh very grounded and you were like wow i can't believe this you fell for that like you fell for this person not that i'm saying you fell for it like you're dumb or something not at all like you fell for, for it because this person gave you no reason to doubt them they were like all out about like how they want a relationship a family something you know stable blah blah but there was a fly in the ointment there's two rats here in this card there was a fly in the ointment Suddenly communication stopped and I see this person cutting off communication and you still messaging them and thinking like, well, what happened? Like everything was fine. Everything was going so well. They blocked you or they stopped talking to you, left you on red, disappeared. Uh, the reason why this, they disappeared is that they have a whole other situation going on. They lied to you about their status. They have a family. They're married or with a partner. Maybe they have children. Whatever they have is not finished. Or they were on a break of some kind, you know, it, but it was like manipulative. They, they knew they weren't really on a break, you know. They were basically cheating on their partner with you. This isn't the first time this person has done it. This is a prize douche flute. If you had question, questions about this, you know, if you, feel, you could feel confused because they were so perfect. They weren't. They were just, you know, playing perfect. They had bad intentions. That ace of swords here is so cold and cutting the bill and calculated if it was an established connection it was the other way around they had a relationship with you and, and meanwhile they were uh seeing other people or having a whole other family or a whole other situation somewhere else this is a double timing little <clears throat> Taurus. you can do so much better than this douche flute do you even want to know like do you even want to know what they're gonna do they have bad intentions nine of swords they, they don't feel sorry 
for what they did. They have no empathy. This is a prize douche loot psychopath boo boo. I'm so, so sorry. They're going to try and communicate with you again because they don't like they don't like not having power over you, even if they, they're the one that ghosted. You know, you could have started asking questions because you got suspicious and they suddenly cut things. What is the future? Yeah, this person is going to bring you nothing but heartbreak. I think they're going to attempt communicating with you again, the Seven of Swords. But it's going to be very sneaky, very weird, and under uh, the radar. It's going to be in the next seven uh, days, seven hours, or seven weeks. I see this person trying to communicate. But they're trying to communicate because they want to cause more drama and heartbreak. They're not going to give you the kind of closure that maybe you think that you deserve, which I agree with you, you do deserve. I don't think they're going to give you that kind of closure. I think they're going to come in to cause drama and trouble. But Bill, I cannot tell you enough. Sometimes you just get a reading that's just all like, just no. It's just a no for me, all right? This is not um, mommy approved, okay? Emanuela Rose, Blue Angel, does not approve of this situation. This is a narcissist. Be careful. Be on guard from this person. Don't get sucked into the drama. What else is coming through for Taurus? I'm so sorry, my baby. A new relationship is coming for you. A relationship that, that will heal the betrayal that you suffered because of this person. But be strong because you're going to be tempted. Five of Swords, you're going to be tempted to return to the one who betrayed you. Do not do that. Uh, some of you are already encountering a new love or you're moving on and you're talking to other people. Definitely uh, continue doing that. You've got the world here. You've got uh, four, the four, four corners of the world and four fixed signs. So the world is your oyster, baby, my Taurus. You're so sparkly and scrumptious. You love so deeply. You love so beautifully. Ooh, don't let this person uh, destabilize your life, destabilize your dream of love. You have so much love to give. Another fixed sign might be coming for you, a Leo and Aquarius, a Scorpio or another Taurus. Leo energy too with the strength card, you know. Be strong because uh, someone who has your belief and your strength of conviction and love is coming towards you. Um, if they haven't already, this, uh, this energy is coming in by the end of Leo season. I feel like you're going to be in a totally different relationship and this person is going to be insignificant. I know they caused you a lot of pain and I feel like you have unanswered questions or you feel like they burdened you with a, a certain type of information. Uh, maybe this person admitted to cheating or being in a different situation and kind of left you with that with no explanation, no sorry, no fighting for you, nothing like that. They did it on purpose because it's a manipulator and a narcissist. Be very, very careful how you um you know proceed with caution with this person be careful how you uh i would just delete from database completely just delete them completely and don't respond to any messages this person is nothing but trouble but though but a better love is coming let's see what magic is protecting you right now how you can protect yourself from this bad energy star the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity um, the stars are protecting uh, you, Bibu. Maybe you are a star seed yourself. Maybe now is the time to uh, drink in the magic of the stars. I think uh, the nighttime is a good time for you. This is a, a healing time to do any rituals, manifestations, or, or magic around your situation. Um, and also follow your star, follow your dream, and remember that you are the star of the show. Just because somebody, um, you know, inveigled their way into your life and made themselves the main character and caused so much trauma doesn't mean that that's, that's just one little chapter of your beautiful, beautiful story. Don't ever forget that. You are the star of the show. Who is this new person going to be? Yeah, this is your soulmate. The reason why this heartbreak happened the way that it did is because there's actually a high vibrational soulmate out there for you. The one for you in this lifetime. They're coming. They couldn't have come in if you had stayed in this relationship or this connection uh, with this douche flute. The douche flute was deleted from the database by the angels. The angels deleted them. Let it go. Let it go, Bibil. Taurus, trust. There's a new person coming. It's going to be soon. Could be in the next two hours, two days, two weeks, two months. We're by the end of Leo season. I see with somebody completely different. You're going to be thanking your lucky stars. The star that came up here, you're going to be thanking the stars that they allowed this douche flute to be deleted from the database. And I hope this douche flute, they're not going to do, mm, not going to say anything, but I just hope this douche flute receives what they deserve. Every single thing that they deserve. Taurus, you're gorgeous and scrumptious. You always give so much love. This person was just unworthy and they should have been deleted from the database. And this is the correct way. Uh, this is your confirmation, your affirmation. Don't be so forgiving. There's someone, someone so much better. Someone, the one you've been waiting for. Come in, baby. Wait for that. Trust in that. 
I love you, my baby Taurus. Let me know in the comments below if this is your douche food story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, my baby, because that really helps your mommy out. And um, what else? Oh, yeah, see you uh, at the live. Uh, I'm doing Ides of March. It's going to be Wednesday, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we have a very special guest coming on. We're going to be talking about es esotericism, and we're going to be uh, taking your PayPal questions as well, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time, Wednesday, the 15th. Uh, and we're going to be talking about, you know, uh, ancient history, Ides of March, stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested, join me. It would be awesome to see you there. If you are interested in a reading with me, all the information is in the description box below, uh, including all my other magical services like coaching, spell work, and specialized tarot readings. If you want to talk to the dead, uh, if you want to try the Oracle of the Dead reading, all the information is uh, in the description box below under necromancy. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I just love you, Taurus, baby. I just love you, okay? Just remember you're gorgeous and you deserve the best. And this is not the best. And that's why I've had to leave. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized. And may the angels protect you, my baby. Give me another kiss. Mm.